Oh, hello, am I visible? Hello, ma'am. Yes, you are. Yeah. Am I audible? Finally. Yeah, yeah, you are audible. Finally, actually, I'm not that tech savvy. Okay. Um. Uh, that's fine ma'am uh, i think we both had technical difficulties on our ends but um mm-hmm. good evening and we good are evening. so honored to have you here and um we've been looking forward to this session for a long time um partly because uh, ma'am our community is of medicos and doctors across india एंड पुराने जमाने में ये जरूर होता था कि अगर एक बच्चे ने बीटेक करी है तो वो केबल इंजीनियर बनेगा और अगर किसी को बायो लेनी है तो वो केबल डॉक्टर बनेगा पर लेकिन मैम विद न्यू जनरेशन रोलिंग इन एंड यू नो द टाइम्स ऑफ चेंज एंड सो नाउ someone who's doing an mbbs does not just have to do an md or an ms they can go to an mba they can pursue civil services and i think you are the best example for that having pursued your mbbs from pgi or hotak and now you've been an ias officer for two or more years roughly and uh, yeah, so ma'am i mean uh, my first question would be your journey from an mbbs student to an ias officer i mean how has it been it's been slightly i can say a roller coaster ride for me because uh, i was really uh, obviously we all medicos are supposed to be studious people but uh, i was too status quo is like once i enter into something i expect from myself that i'll continue it but uh, anyhow uh, i think it maybe it's luck or something the things change god shows you the path and i changed and actually i succeeded the part is easy to you to start anything anybody can start any preparation but point is that you have to be really lucky that you reach your goal in that regard So I think I was lucky in that regard. So I mean, are you satisfied with where you are currently? Because you said that uh, you know you're the kind of person who thinks of a goal and sticks to it. So, but it was a major change from MBBS to civil services. So is there something else on your mind that you would want to pursue after this, or is this what you no, think no, that you no, were meant I'm, to do? I'm actually very happy. I can say very confidently today. I'm. very happy very satisfied and that now there is this thing in my mind that okay i pursued something and it actually turned out to be the way i expected it to be so it's giving me lot of work satisfaction and the personal satisfaction also so ma'am was this something jo aapne pehle se nahi socha tha aapne jab aap 12th mein ya aap young ek student the maybe school days mein so was it something ki uh, aapko pehle ek month hai mbbs karne ka ya aapko shuru se pata tha that this is something that you want to pursue later on in life uh, i come from a family of doctors so mere parents doctor hain mere dono brothers doctor hain mere uncle aunt doctor hain mere grandfather ki teeno betiyan doctor hain unke bachche bhi sare doctor hain so it's like a family profession for us तो जब बचपन में टेंथ का रिजल्ट आया था तो उससे पहले भी मतलब ये पता था कि आई होता है बट आई एस इज समिंग बियॉन्ड द लीग ऑफ अस तो हम सोचते थे कि भाई अपना डॉक्टर बनते हैं वो थोड़ा सा हमारी फैमिली में है आई एस आई एस अपने बस का नहीं है नहीं हो पाएगा तो इतना बड़ा ड्रीम नहीं करते हैं सो वेन टेंथ रिजल्ट केम सो माई स्कोर केम सो आई वॉज सेकेंड हाइस्ट टॉपर टॉपर इन हरियाणा स्टेट तो then uh, first time media people started asking me ki what do you want to be and i was like oh my god i don't know i never thought they asked what stream you want to choose i was like okay what should i say what should i say what should i say so i said uh, okay let us go by the safe thing my grandmother and all said doctor so i said yes 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 doctor doctor and my grandfather said ki na i want to make a is so oh. that is recorded also so now when i see that recorded part it uh, that was the first time when i realized ki till now my old man has been saying it to me that uh, ias is beyond uh, league and today first time he has said in front of media that he wants to make me an ias so that was the point when i realized now this man has dreamt uh, in his lifetime i want to make his dream successful so okay so, so ias was something that was pre planned but you yeah. knew you wanted to do it yeah but i know the road to ias would go through being doctor only for me because uh, my my parents have a hospital and they would want me to get a job security they would want me to stand on my feet first there has to be a when a girl goes off uh, for such choices that uh, in her life she has to be career career wise secure financially secure mentally secure 
so they think that uh, just like that going for ias preparation and then you might not end up being ias then you must have a career option and stability in your mind so accordingly i first did my mbbs and then when the then i told them okay now you people should be happy i am a doctor in case i don't become ias i am going to sit in your hospital and do whatever you say but in case i become i'm going to take my shot i'm going to prepare for it so they agreed to it right absolutely so when did you start preparing for it so uh, now uh, there was no nobody to tell me no ias in the family nearest distant nobody through this profession all i knew was medicine and surgery books so everybody would guide me you read hindu anybody would say you read dainik jagran anybody would say anything so initially in uh, fourth prof uh, i started realizing ki some things i have to study for example i should know basic idea about geography maps and all those things then i could not do it because uh, you know that second year and final year are the most toxic years which we have as mbba students very scary years so absolutely uh, after that in internship i thought ki okay now if i don't uh, start now i'll be taking two more years and otherwise then family will say you do pg you are wasting time and all so in internship i started preparation in september of internship i started preparation okay so ma'am uh, was this exclusively for upsc or did you have to manage and balance your preparation for neat pg and for upsc what was it I gave NEET PG twice. I cleared NEET PG twice along with UPSC preparation. So oh uh, that I did because uh, every time I would be told, "See, you are wasting time." They would give. Uh, I would get examples that uh, I would be given example that you remember this uncle's this daughter. She gave this many attempts, and then she also finally decided that she'll do PG only. So why are you changing your line? Being doctor is good. so this was the main uh, contention in the house so i was like okay for your sake i'll give neat pg also but my main focus was all along uh, upsc only that's amazing um i have to ask at this point just out of curiosity uh if god forbid uh, this hadn't happened for you it hadn't gone in your favor uh, what specialization would you have chosen for neat pg surgery surgery uh, i am inspired by my mossy she is a surgeon and uh, since childhood i have seen her i have grown up under her with my grandparents and uh, every time i would be ki okay earlier uh, like um, not much women opt for surgery so that was the most challenging but i would see at her that okay she is doing so much daring stuff i want to do like her so since childhood i was like ki if nothing i'll be a surgeon that's amazing so ma'am uh, what was your optional subject for upsc medical science optional it was medical. safe i can give neat pg also i can prepare optional also so i took medical science optional of course but it was not scoring <laughs> uh was it difficult for you yeah actually issue with medical science optional and medicos is he uh, we think that we are confident we have studied those subject for 5 years that is totally personal opinion i am not discouraging any of the aspirant who is having medical science optional that we usually think that uh, five years preparation will be able to do it but biggest challenge is test series there is no guidance program or test series pertaining to medical science right now one or two have cropped up but i personally feel that there is no dedicated optional training program for medical science 19 subjects other than uh, upsc preparation it is like double upsc preparation other optionals will have two to three books you will be reading 19 books and then scoring pattern is they'll always give you average marks like in 10 marks question they'll give you five marks So other optional yeah. end up scoring slightly more than us, and so we have to compensate in other marks or interview for that. So right. that was the issue. And uh, ma'am, how was your experience uh, preparing for your interview rounds? Because I feel like uh, preparing in a room and giving giving a written exam is something entirely different than when you are faced by uh, such achieved officers and they're asking you questions and you have to answer them to the best of your ability. How was that? Um, actually, for me, interview was like uh, another Mahabharat because uh, in my optional, second or op- first optional. i ended up missing 60 marks paper because i could not attempt it and time got over so okay. and i had told at my house that okay give me this last chance i'll definitely come in the list so they have also told that if you any how manage to come on the list we'll give you one more year to prepare for ias so my target was that if 700 seats are there i just want one rank in 700 so i know that i had killed my optional and i have only thing to depend upon is op- uh, interview 
so then i started was uh, small small things uh, like uh, how to speak how to look in the eyes and talk how to uh, answer the questions how brief or succinct your answers have to be and how to look into the mirror and all so all these things were uh, slightly which were focused upon so it was step by step preparation firstly was like uh, many of us don't uh, very fluently talk in english in normal slang but they expect us to be very perfect in our answers we cannot use a uh, normal conversational casual languages over there so for right. me the challenge was that also so i would talk to everybody in that language only and call the interview preparations mock interviews sari wearing especially the girls who have never worn sari and then you are conscious in an attire so slowly slowly things uh, actually they just turned out to be my good i think so you just naturally fell into the pattern of being an ias officer Uh, no no i cannot say that uh, it is not uh, i guess of being as officer is uh, not uh, natural it is uh, more of a you initially make mistakes lots and lots of mistakes you make during preparation especially then you will always have those uh, times of under confidence then you will feel that uh, world is crashing and what will i do i have uh, taken so much pressure on my head and all then there will be times when you will be feeling good then there will be times when you will not be feeling confident in your own skin you will be feeling like ki are i am too healthy because of upsc preparation i got really healthy and in interview time i was very much slightly under confident that they will feel that she is not even healthy also and she is a doctor so you are very afraid that anybody can judge you anywhere so ultimately right. you have to be like explain yourself meditate repeatedly talk to yourself talk to your family and loved ones you need a lot and a lot of uh, support and after that slowly slowly it starts coming in ki okay things are like that and i'll do my best in the same given circumstance so that's how it is so natural is like i personally feel that very rare people are there who naturally fall in being uh, is it is lot and lot of roadblocks you face Okay, and uh, this support that you are talking about, you had tons of support from your family, but uh, what about your friends, ma'am? Yeah, I had uh, I had very good friends as well. My, my medico friends, uh, because syllabus was too much, so I would like to name Ishani. She is my childhood friend and a medico friend. So she would specially read the whole chapter, teach me on phone. She'll just come out of her duties, call me and say. you remember 10 points regarding uh, this uh, this uh, this cancer this pathology topic you remember two points three points so just before the day of exam also she will call me and say you write this thing you do this thing you don't need to learn anything remember this diagram so this was like educational support other than that for moral support many of my friends they would specially search interview questions just based on my profile call me and randomly ask questions so i had a group of five six friends who were always some of them could not clear mains and despite that they were like okay fine uh, we could not but let us help her to do it because it is like she is on line for that so they actually pulled me up in everything especially in interviews when i were mock interviews i would get some harsh remarks or they would say then they would say that okay ignore these people they are just like that thing they are not the main interviewers so you need that support at every level so i had excellent people supporting me so oh, it's so important to have the right kind of people around you to support you especially ma'am jab safar itna mushkil ho to saath mein jo log saath ke wo sahi ho wo bahut zaruri hota hai um i have to ask this was your friend circle in mbbs but um, all your fellow ias officers the your batchmates from your year of qualification ma'am um, do they still call you and ask you for medical advice have you ever yeah. received any calls <laughs> yeah that is like uh, we are uh, some some of us are like the who are medicos who have cleared the exam we are like the doctors of our batch so any small work any small issue for example uh, somebody is having fever somebody is having some doubts they'll uh, ping us saying some reports and say okay you just see if you don't know find it out from some good person they'll be like this so we are always first contact person for most of our batch mates for uh, any medical help right and um, the past one and a half years have been really difficult globally in terms of covid-19 and the effect of the pandemic you know on the country and our people so ma'am would you say i mean not would you say or rather how would you say uh, being a doctor first and then an ias officer has helped you tackle these situations and the complications that have arisen 
um for, uh, last year i was assistant collector under training in east godavari so that's when covid broke uh, broke out so when i joined the day 300 people came positive so uh, first thing that helped me out was it was easier for me to understand what are the nuances what are the test what is true not what is rt pcr so i did not have to make some special efforts in learning that but at the same time uh, i could also understand the plight of doctors who are working non stop uh, they were working non stop without any breaks without anything getting covid positive facing personal losses so it was easier to communicate with those doctors who were on duty in that area it was easier to understand that why so much number of testing cannot be processed or why uh, how much oxygen is needed and what are the challenges faced by doctors at the same time then uh, i was uh, also uh, part of state module team uh, me and my batchmates so it was easier we were uh, rushing hel- uh, this helpline 104 helpline so people would call with some complaints saying that uh, uh, we are having cold cough fever everybody would say that but as we know that resources were limited so it was easier to understand by the nature of complaint how serious it is so this was some uh, technical knowledge which somehow helped but more was the emotional component i could actually understand uh, what doctors are going through and most of the times uh, they would tell me that uh, this is not there that is not there this is this much is needed so it was easier to uh, understand from both the sides administration part as well as the medical part so i think that helped me a lot in that so ma'am um, based on your experiences if you had to give an opinion or um, you know some kind of comment on indian medical services which is something that has been in talks for quite some time now do you think um, it's the need of the hour or do you think that uh, you know it's not needed i mean what's your take on this um actually i can only say it on personal level of my part if uh, technical uh, knowledge is uh, the main aim of indian medical services i think expert groups are moving upon it so as long as it does not end up being another administrative body without adding up to the any betterment or uh, without uh, much modifying the present infrastructure i think uh, it is uh, okay to have it but if it ends up being uh, another administrative body just like already existing infrastructure then there is no need of doubling of infrastructure but if it is going to add up in some way in covid pandemic or other way anything which adds up uh, in, as a need to government i think is a welcome step by government but then again it's a policy decision i can't comment upon there right of course i understand that um well let's shift to a lighter topic um i'd love to know ma'am what was your favorite subject in mbbs and also your least favorite okay <laughs> my favorite my least favorite i can tell very confidently uh, pharmacology and community medicine <laughs> pharmacology <laughs> i could not cram the name of drugs community medicine i somehow felt it was too big novelist for me to remember that uh, there is a book called parks we all know we all read it at times but it was that favorite subject i personally liked surgery a lot so it right. was one of my favorite subjects well um this is quite shocking for me <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> this is quite shocking for me because uh, my next question i had expected you to like community medicine uh, owing to the fact that it's such an in- integrated subject out of all the subjects out right of all now i like subjects. it the most now i like it the most because now it is helping me the most that time when it was like written exams and all i did not like it but now when i see community medicine knowledge is maximum helping me as an administrator matlab if i have to choose among all 19 subjects which subject is like the most used subject by me as of now in the field if i use it wherever i go for example vaccination drives for covid or for right. interacting with anm regarding high risk pregnancies and all i think all these uh, national health mission all these schemes uh, rbsk all those things so all these schemes i think community medicine is the only subject which stands by me so that knowledge which i hated then is the like most useful to me now right absolutely so uh uh ma'am if you were to give one piece of advice or maybe even several pieces of advice to a student who is currently doing their mbbs and wants to pursue their upsc so how are they to begin what would be your uh, you know piece of guidance for them um first uh, i would in this case the most important guideline i like to give is that please have a clear state of mind 
the it is always going to be a confusing battle whether to be a doctor or to be an IAS or people will say that you wasted a medical seat and you wasted that seat and now you are going to be an IAS somebody else would have done the doctor you are not doing justice to your parent profession and all but I think at the end of the day the best advice I can give is please have a clear head listen to your inner calling. If you are sitting in, uh, if you are trying to be a doctor and you are not happy being a doctor, or if you feel that you could have done much better by being something else, then you are not even doing justice to your parent profession like that. So right. please listen to your inner calling clearly and prepare well. And I think from we are already uh, very much trained enough to study hard, work hard. That is like uh, our profession teaches us like that. We learn books, we prepare overnight. All these things are like almost in every medico's blood. So it is easy for us, but uh, we have to be concentrated and less overconfident. And uh, many medicals are coming up, so be confident and uh, you can do it. And there is no harm in preparing for UPSC. It's a good career option. Right. But um, how would one, so if someone has decided and, uh, you know, fixed their mind, fixated themselves on UPSC while they are in MBBS, um, how should they start preparing for it? Because it's a um, tough change, ma'am. It's one that you've obviously gone through. It's a tough change to suddenly decide that, you know, we want to pursue the civil services instead of medicine or surgery. Yeah, in that regard, uh, biggest hurdle is we don't know history, civics, quality, arts, all those subjects. So easy way out for that is we start watching uh, YouTube videos. I personally, when I first read Geography NCRT, I could not understand anything from World Geography. So easy way out is there are good videos on YouTube, which gives you basic idea regarding uh, all the subjects. And then is reading Hindu. We'll need to develop that habit. So internship will be tough phase. So if you want, you can start in pre-final year reading Hindu. Just for the sake of practice, not for making notes. But initially, we'll have a challenge reading the newspaper itself. And right. then is focusing on the NCRTs. We have to work extra than rest of the aspirants. Because last time we read history was 10th standard. Last time we read geography was 10th standard and that also was not old, old NCRTs. They were very superficial new NCRTs. So they are very much challenging for us. But when we focus upon it, I think we are very good catchers. All medicals are, I am not uh, saying other uh, people are not, but I feel that we can easily catch history and geography. So if we work on that, it is good. All right. And uh, ma'am, if I'm not wrong, you're currently <clears throat> posted in Andhra Pradesh. Yeah, I am sub-collector in Sandhukur, uh, Prakasam district and uh, in Andhra Pradesh. And ma'am, you're originally from Haryana. Yeah. So ma'am, how, how has the experience been for a Haryana girl, for a North Indian Haryana girl to go to Andhra Pradesh, the new culture, the people? It is, I can say that it is also roller coaster, but it is amazing roller coaster ride. You get to know so many things. Some of the words in Telugu mean something else in Hindi. So when somebody is like uh, discussing those words and that word, those words come up, you end up cracking up in a meeting. But you have to control, okay, they are talking in Telugu. So some of the words, language is a challenge. But once we learn the language, it is fun. People respect you here a lot in Andhra Pradesh. If you are working and if you are trying to learn the language also, people here are very accommodative, very respecting. And the job is very fulfilling. Food is you get to eat lots of lots of spicy food idli and all those things so it's good i'm i'm enjoying andhra pradesh so speaking of food uh what's your favorite thing to eat in andhra pradesh uh i think uh, too many options but yeah i'll go by biryani oh wow <laughs> um all right so mom uh, you already mentioned that your family had supported you in your endeavors, but not only did you crack a government seat in PGI Rohtak for your MBBS, but you also managed to crack one of the most difficult exams in India. So, um, was it an emotional blow on your parents when you, you know, told them that no, I want to give one more year, I want to give one more try to this? Was it something that they were concerned because, ma'am? I am also a female medico in this country and I also have overprotective parents. So I understand that they will be extremely concerned, especially as you mentioned for job security. So ma'am, how was that? Did you have to convince them? Was there any kind of uh, emotional battle at home involved? Yeah, we all have uh, such uh, emotional battles. I think it is not only medical girls, all the Indian girls I personally feel have this emotional battle. 
in trying to most of the parents get convinced our parents are just over protective they don't want us to get hurt in any sense so we have to convince them it is okay we'll be able to do it so yeah i also had it initially they were in shock are why are you preparing for upsc what is wrong in mvbs you can do very good my grandpa i was with my grand i have been with my grandparents all along so every time anybody would meet to my grandfather my grandmother would tell them see this is a prajata i want to make them i want to make her cardiac surgeon like you i want to he would emotionally say like that and then i would understand why he is saying so he is like and look at that example that doctor she is doing so well see she you can also be like her so he would say that but initially slowly slowly when i was a bit insisting that no 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 i need one year i need one year so then he also understood okay fine uh, prajata let you i we are giving you one year we are supporting you uh, if you turn out it is very good if you don't then just come back to your parent profession so if you had been given the choice ma'am which cadre would you have wanted uh obviously home cadre yeah haryana rajasthan but Fair i think it's not about the choice it's like indian administrative services wherever they put you it is an honor to work so how has your experience been so far um can you share any one experience that you felt was challenging for you the most challenging um yeah i can tell is uh, this uh, in internship everybody joins that uh, institute over there uh, in delhi which i i we all know so in internship i joined that institute getting admission over there i think is a tough thing you have 30 minutes of time or window to generate token and all i took admission then i had this my postings my casualty posting going on my surgery posting going on and all so my batchmates were cooperative they would adjust but what i had to do was i would do my duty i would sit in a roadways bus i'll in the bus i'll travel to delhi and then i'll attend the evening session of the institute then i'll go to ma'am say to stay with my friend then next day morning 3 o'clock morning i would again get up and then i would come back and do my duty so it was like four hours travel and duty and training and all so it got very frustrating at the end of one month because i was just traveling getting exhausted getting scolded from everywhere so then i got chicken gunia during that time and okay. then also i was very persistent no no i'll travel in the bus i'll go i'll do but my family would be like are stay i would say ki no no exam is in june let me go and all so that was the that time for a moment i felt like i would give up on upsc because emotionally it was very baffling very i was very angry that why is it happening why something cannot be simplified but anyhow i survived that phase during that time i could not clear prelims so it was a bit setback to me but uh, otherwise i overcame that so ma'am um what was your result what was your reaction after the result especially uh, when you were in labasna so what was your most favorite memory there uh, uh, if you could share something most favorite uh, memory of labasna would be bharat darshan we were a group of uh, my batchmates and me went all around the country we developed friendships lifelong friendships we got to know happy fun side of each other and uh, i think uh, that was the most andamans and then north east in chilling winters we were sitting together so all these uh, things we to like rising of kamadia ship in all of us so it was a very good time for me in the vast that's amazing and um any general piece of advice that uh, if you at this point of time in your life could go back and uh, tell your younger self as a first year mbba student something what would you want to say uh i would like to tell her don't overthink <laughs> that i want to tell even before that don't overthink don't overjudge yourself it is okay to have bad days it is okay to have tem- uh, tough times mental health is important and uh, just be yourself if somebody judges it's okay just don't give up on being yourself because people are judging you so of that's course. what i would like to tell her and um you know i have to reach out to the audience and ask them if they have any yeah, questions sure. that you would like to pose yeah uh, sure. just if anyone has any questions please feel free to drop them down in the comment section uh ma'am one of the questions that we had previously was um, how did you stay motivated like you've mentioned and you've talked about how you were 
uh, you know uh, very determined and you knew that you wanted this but uh, despite all the setbacks how does someone stay motivated like you mentioned those long uh, service hours and the, those long travel hours from uh, between uh, rohtak to delhi so what was the one thing or the several things keeping you going uh in this one is this uh, survival skill which we all have ki aage kua hai piche khai hai ab kahi ja nahi sakte hai to kaam to karna hi padega to easiest to yahi tha ki mujhe pata tha no turning back hai to aage hi jana hai to jab ab sher ki gufa mein ghus gaye to sher se lagte hi hai to ek to ye rehta tha aur dusra ye tha i would uh, watch ted talks motivational uh, uh, videos on youtube there are those they are for gym people but they motivate you i would uh, listen to good motivating songs and uh, whenever i would feel depressed i would talk to a close friend they would motivate me no 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 you are not the only one everybody is in this mood so i had to push myself a lot i'll not say that everything was uh, hunky dory and all the rainbows and all days were very very tough very hard at times i can say very cruel days also but eventually i had to come out of it but because when you know you don't have any option the day you stop giving yourself option is the day you realize excuses won't work so even if i gave excuses i would have not one more year to work on it so that was my last chance and now i was in the cave of lion so i had to fight the lion or else either way i am dead so that's how i would tell myself you say motivating songs can you share a couple of names uh that is like uh, um i can tell but theek hai zyada logo ko hindi nahi aati hogi to ek to abhi ye jo the bhag mil ka bhag movie ke songs hain i found right. them a lot yeah and especially zinda and bhag mil ka both the songs and uh, then is this uh, door movie song ye hausla kaise juke ye arzu kaise ruke so that song and so these were like there are like some uh, i also wrote it in kora also somebody asked me what motivational songs so there are like 50 60 songs which were like on loop in my playlist so i would you know james songs so all these were on my playlist so i would always listen to them they would make me feel better or at least they'll have some time adrenaline pump that will work for me and i'll get out of depression and work again so ma'am um has there ever been at any point in this journey of yours have you ever thought of uh, you know maybe things would have turned out different or better if you had instead uh, opted to be a doctor has there any ever been that time um not on professional level uh, recently i lost my grandfather because of covid 2 months ago and I'm sorry uh, to for two years ha uh, for two years i was uh, in andhra pradesh or uh, in training or something so because of that i was always on move never at home he would be, he would be missing me and all so because of uh, that reason uh, when i lost him i personally slightly felt if i was near him doing pg and i was not on job that was momentary then maybe i would have got to spend more time on with them so that was totally personal level thing and professionally i have never regretted it till date i have not regretted it for two years let us see how it turns out to be in future right and um we just had one of um, our viewers ask a question so i'll just read that out ma'am Uh, it is antony and he wants to know if a foreign medical graduate who passed the fmg exam is eligible to write the upsc without doing internship in india uh, i think you'll have to do your internship in india because uh, your graduation mbbs or anything uh, which of which is equivalent degree in india is considered complete only with the internship so unless you have a graduation degree i i'm not sure about the rules but as far as i know unless you have a complete graduation degree including in internship you are uh, not eligible but i still go back to the rules and confirm it to the person um okay if anyone has any other questions we'll just wait for them but um in the meantime ma'am um what changes do you think that you would want to bring the most like um personally something that has bothered me in recent times would probably be the amount of violence that doctors have been facing 
in their workplace and otherwise in our country so it's been something that's been upsetting and disturbing to the doctor community for a long time and it's something that uh, you know the administration can do something about so where do you what would you you know want to do about that or where do you um, see yourself holding a stance there just me uh, whenever i hear about news is about uh, violence against doctors i personally see myself more as a doctor over there and i really feel embarrassed about that issue and uh, there is nothing which justifies any sort of violence against any doctor who is putting his life on line working day and night and nobody deserves to hit a doctor like that so this enrages me to uh, i can say a very i am very enraged about it and uh, i think mere getting enraged does not work there are uh, some things which should be done which is like uh, i would not like to give upsc like answer first of all is that there is too much doctor patient interaction and not only doctor patient doctor patient relative interaction most of the hospitals so what we see is that with one patient usually 20 or 10 attendants will come suppose a bullet injury comes whole village will come with them and then they'll not have patience they want everything to happen within a minute so i think like foreign countries we need to uh, put up a system where uh, only one attendant per patient is allowed or the attendants are allowed to wait outside and uh, there is a proper security system in which doctors have minimum communication with the attendants of the patients secondly the because of uh, because the doctor patient ratio in our country is uh, slightly you know tilted so because of that less doctors are there patients are more so because of overloading uh, of more patients and overcrowding these uh, scenarios further come up so i think there is a need of law to be uh, in place regarding this that uh, what is the i think in some of the states it is there uh, what is the penal pro- uh, provision for uh, uh, violence against doctors and uh, what are the uh, common uh, places or grounds of interactions or the minimum number of staffs or the security staffs or police security to be provided in the government hospitals and uh, i think uh, people also need to self reflect and think that it is not the doctor who has done something to the patient he is in fact just curing the patient so i think we need a community development also in this regard right ma'am absolutely i agree completely um you mentioned that uh, you had taken medical sciences as your optional subject um if you had the ability to go back and choose another one would you yeah anthropology <laughs> because it was very <laughs> scoring and uh, my score was brought down by my optional only so i'll definitely okay. change my optional without any second thought it is not about that because it is my parent profession but in upsc you can have respect for medical science optional subject as much as you want but any subject which serves the purpose should be your priority and not because it is your own subject so that should be your priority so if anthropology scores better choose anthropology or if sociology choose better, scores better choose that anything that scores better is to be to be the priority so i would definitely change that and apart from anthropology would there be any other couple of other or a few other subjects that you would recommend yeah public administration is a good optional and uh, then uh, i think uh, it is totally personal choice in that we what you are comfortable with psi or public administration sociology these are some of the very good scoring optionals as of now as far as i know so they can also be chosen along with anthropology right ma'am so apart from this entire play of mbbs and medical and upsc and civil um if you will to be able to reach out to the youth and give them one piece of advice just general advice what would it be um i can say is that first is please chill yourself world is not collapsing you we don't don't take things so seriously because world is not taking them don't overthink tumhe lagta hai ki log kya sochenge log kya bolenge ye ho jayega wo ho jayega duniya itna seriously nahi leti hai cheezon ko jitna hum khud lete hain to thoda kam seriously lene ki zarurat hai aur jo karna hai wo karna hai uske baad fir ek baar jab soch lo karna hai to uske baad fir excuses mat do khud ko ki ye aise ho gaya isliye nahi hua waise ho gaya isliye nahi hua ek baar thaan liya thaan liya uske baad nahi palatne ka hai aur logo ka zyada sochne ka nahi hai log to kuch na kuch kehte hi rehte hain so age doesn't matter for dreaming don't think i am 30 i cannot do i am 35 i cannot do this time place age situation they do not matter as long as you want to do it please go and do it that's it kuch to log kahenge logo ka kaam hai kehna kehna yes <laughs> absolutely ma'am well um this has been such an amazing session with you ma'am and i'm sure that everyone who's attended has probably learned so much from you 
and uh, you are probably our best example that you know anything is possible and it's not necessary that once we've gotten into this field we have to pursue only medical sciences and uh, there are a variety of different streams waiting out there for us and um, I guess अगर नीट पी जी नहीं कर रहे हो तो और भी बहुत चीजें हैं जो आप कर सकते हो बिल्कुल यू शुड नॉट टाई योर लाइफ टू वन पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रीम बिकॉज यू इनिशियली चूज इट एज लॉन्ग एज यू आर हैपी डूइंग फील यू डू इट एज लॉन्ग एज यू फील यू आर एडिंग सम प्लस पॉइंट और समेटेज टू एनी थिंग यू आर डूइंग यू आर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू इट इज गुड द मोमेंट यू स्टॉप कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू एनी थिंग आई थिंक यू शुड नॉट स्टिक टू इट जस्ट बिकॉज यू स्टार्टेड इट Uh, KFC was started by the person who started it at very late of his age. So I think right. people change their dreams at late ages also. So it is very okay to be comfortable in any dream you choose and change it further. Absolutely, ma'am. Uh, when we started being medic, we just had one thing in mind that we want to be able to give back to community in whatever way we can. So I feel yeah. as long as we are adding value to society and giving back to it, it does not matter whether we are a doctor or doing anything. Else. else yeah definitely you are right in it right well ma'am this has been such an amazing session and i cannot thank you enough for um, taking you know time out of your very busy schedule and gracing us with your presence and i'd like to thank everyone for joining in and um if anyone would like to be a part of being medic or our team you guys can dm us and ma'am thank you so much for your time thank and you we too. thank you to you too for this wonderful session it was lovely interacting today evening with you and uh, i also had this uh, memory lane too today after discussing this with you so it was an amazing session and thank you everybody who attended it thank you so much ma'am thank you okay thank you good night thank you and i'd like to remind everyone that if anyone missed uh, any part of the session uh, they can log on to our youtube channel the link is in our bio and you can watch the entire session there thank you so much ma'am Okay bye